Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for The Daily Gizwiz is provided by Winamp. Subscribe to The Daily Gizwiz and all your favorite podcasts with the ultimate media player. Download it for free at winamp.com. Video bandwidth for The Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for The Daily Gizwiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1303 for Wednesday, March 9th, 2011. The Skosh Flip Sync 2. And now, get ready for Dick. It's Wednesday, the middle of the week. Thank goodness there's no Wednesday theme. It's oh, Wednesday. No. I don't have a Wednesday song, really. Day. I could sing the Monday song over again. No! It's Wednesday. Theme Tree Wednesday, the show you cannot pump. There's no way. The day when there's no theme. You know, I just realized. Hello, Dickie D. Dick D. Bartolo. Yes. Leo? I just realized what it's the last time really? we're going to hear these daily themes uh, and, of course, you could always rewind the podcast. But uh, as we go to the weekly Daily Gizwiz, we won't have the Wednesday theme. I the know. Oh, but you know theme. what? I wonder, somebody once took the website for every day of the week. If you're near a computer, just type in uh, Thursday. I think it's just ThursdayTheme.com. Wow. And he and, got Monday theme and Tuesday theme and all of that, Yeah, too? they took every single website, but this was years ago, and if they're sensible, they have stopped paying for them. Nope. <laughs> they're, they're not sensible. <laughs> Boy, whoever is up there, God bless you. So if you ever want to hear our themes... And look now, at that. And there's in, even the Saturday, Show Free Saturday and Sleepy Sunday... All of the themes are up there in different colors for each day. Look at that. That's so cool. Uh, we have the best fans. I right? know. Aren't they the greatest? Unbelievable. That's really great. That's really great. So whoever's doing that, thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, don't send me a bill uh, after three years uh, that you want me. To... Actually, we'll keep those alive. I'll, I think those yeah, are great. I'll send you, I'll send you a, uh, an autograph med magazine if you can prove you're the person paying it. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. So uh, if you want to hear our themes, just go to uh, any day of the week theme.com. Somebody's suggesting, well, just do it once a week, but just do a different day every once. So, like, you could do the Monday, and then the next week you do Tuesday, and then Wednesday. But I, that stretches it out too yeah, much. That uh, gets a little. Yeah. 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 Uh, what do you got for us on a Wednesday? Uh, I have something new from Skosh. Do you remember Skosh? Because I, I do. Did a, yeah. I showed an item and you ran right out and bought it. it was the a little scotch scotch. room in the in the jeans. <laughs> uh, we talked about many months ago the little scotch solar powered. Uh, oh, I did buy that little battery charger. Yes. Yeah, okay. Well, scotch has two other neat things. Uh, they both are shaped identically, but they do two different things for two different devices. They look like key fobs. They, they, they are, they, they do, they go on keychains, but Leo, they're so clever. And what they are, are little travel cable adapters. This one is for, oh. for charging anything Apple. Okay, so it's the 30 pin iPod Apple connector on one end and a little USB adapter on the other. And the second little pocket thing they make unplugs and it's a micro and a mini usb plug on one end and a standard oh, i'm sorry i was just playing the little movie on the website yes yeah and the standard usb plug on the other now on their website there in 1995 but if you do a web search they're as low as 10 bucks so it goes so on your keychain but then you can plug in so if you forget the cable when you travel, you have your oh, laptop with you. Clever. So you always have the little the right spare. Cables with you. Actually, yeah. you don't even have to. You don't even have to carry those long cables with you. Just one of each of these, and you should be able to charge most cell phones and most Apple devices. Wow, that's really uh, they're interesting. They're really clever. Yeah. They are really. That's I a, like that's the a way, cool product. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and if you do buy them. 
there's a little arrow on the back, which I didn't notice, and it says this end first because they are so small and tight that they really have to be unplugged in the proper order to let the cable inside go. Oh, I get it. And for it. the first 10 minutes, I'm going, yeah. what are they kidding me? This is impossible. <laughs> this is never going to rewind. Did, I did that terrible thing. I peeked in the instruction manual. Ah, you're not a real, said, you're not a real gadget hound. That's right. So you tried to break your device, didn't you? Okay. <laughs> if you did it in this order, it would be work perfectly. So they're the Scosche Flip Sync. That's what they're called. The Scosche Flip Sync keychain USB charges. You know what's great is that now that the European Union requires that all phones use the same micro USB connector for charging, you don't have this this kind of it was just such a nightmare. Every phone had a different charger, and that you could not have made this kind of product. So now they just make it with the uh, the Apple 30-pin connector and then the standard USB mini connector, and that's going to work with almost anything. Yep, yes. Uh, and, and the USB mini has the mini and the micro. So Perfect. some of the older phones. Yeah, that's both all you of need. them. Between, yeah, yeah that's, that is exactly all you need. Wow, that's the and flip sync, too. And you get, a, get them really cheap, as low as 10 bucks. Very handy. If I didn't already have 18 things half hanging off my keychain, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'd hang, I'd hang that on it, too. Hang on, hang on. Uh, keychain, the magic word. Uh oh. Oh, oh the, buck, the duck came out of the ceiling. Do I win 100 bucks? Leo. Leo, last <laughs> it's Saturday. working. It's working. It is still. It has not been the light, the light ran for about 18 hours and then got very, very dim. That's dimmed. not bad. But they did. They don't say, they just say that the balloon will be inflated for 24 hours. This is one week. We're probably. talking about this, this key buoy uh, clone. Oh, yeah. uh, it's called water buoy. Water buoy. Water buoy is different than key buoy. Key buoy didn't have the light in it. Water buoy does the same thing, floats your keys if dropped overboard. But water buoy adds a flashing LED light in case wow. you drop your keys at night. But... There you go. So One now week. you've got a yes. water buoy on your keychain. You've got a flip sync on your keychain. You've got the Victorinox Swiss Army Knife USB flash on your keychain. You've got the tough and tiny verbatim USB flash on your keychain. You've got the Gizwiz flashlight on your keychain. I don't have any room for keys on my keychain. I don't have any keys on my keychain. Oh. I have my keys in a separate pocket. <laughs> <laughs> because I also have my Gizwiz Inca pen. On oh, my yeah. I, you know what? Yeah, my Inca yeah. pen it's, ran out of Inca. So I took that oh, off. Really? But I need to get a new Inca pen for my uh, my keychain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, if I were put, to put these on my keychain, the water buoy, it only fly, uh, floats 2.2 pounds. I would need three of these. To <laughs> you, float it. you know, it was. it's actually, you're joking, but uh, when I was a younger man, all my pants would end up having holes in the pockets. And I thought, what is wrong? Why am I? And then I realized it's the key. I have such a big keychain. It's wearing holes in my yes. pockets. And I'm losing them. So so eventually, I guess you get that little thing on your belt, like Schneider, the guy on the... You know, and I, that's what I do. Do yeah, you really? Exactly. Yeah. I, I No, it's too much stuff to wear in, in a pocket. Well, it starts pulling it your pants down. Scotty vest. Yeah, that's another problem. My pants get pulled down by my by the eighteen pounds I'm carrying on my keychain. <laughs> Scotty vest, Scotty vest, Scotty vest. Put everything in your Scotty vest. Uh, cool. I like that. That is from Skosh. And by the way, Skosh is S C O S C H E. Skosh yes. uh, dot com. If you want to find out more. <laughs> The good news is we will all these letter themes we'll still have. Yeah, we'll have absolutely. to do more than one letter a, a a week though. Yeah, we could do a couple of them. I think we should do absolutely. a couple. Yeah, absolutely. Call Greenbaum writes. I love the show. I have found an iPhone app that should qualify as a gadget. It is the geekiest app I have ever seen. I assume it was designed for surveyors but I was seduced by the display. Mm. 
theodolite. Oh, a theodolite. The, theodolite. Yeah. Do you know it? Sure, it's what surveyors it turns use. On, yes, it turns on the camera, displays the output of every sensor in the phone. Whoa. Overlays a live image. Uh, overlays on the live image tilt, level, compass heading, gauge format, GPS coordinates, controls for zoom, color, filters, shutter release. Pictures that you take have the position and the angles printed in the corner of the image. It turns your iPhone into a heads-up display for a jet fighter. I love it. Do you have it on your iPhone? No, I do have another heads-up uh, program. Um, oh, okay. okay. There are a number of these, and the idea is if, you, if, you, if you're driving, you put it on your dashboard, and it reflects up against, and so they have the backwards mode, it reflects up against the windshield, and it really is a heads-up display. Wow. I, I use one called 3D wow. HUD that does that. That's cool. Oh, okay. That's cool. Well, this is, what's the name of this yeah. app again? Call. I love it. Uh, T H E O D O L I T E. Oh, Theodolite. Uh, we we already discussed that. Theodolite. Theodolite. Yeah. All right, good. I'm going to have to get that. Yeah. That's cool. Very, very cool. Thank you, Paul. So, Dick, uh, the What the Heck Is It contest has wound it up, winded, wound it up for January, wound February. It up. On Friday, I'm going to actually show the gadget and talk about it good. and talk so about I won't, the winners. I won't say, but uh, you, if you do want to play the new one, New Mad Magazine, new contest at gizwiz.biz. This time yes, it's, sir. Yeah, it's kind of a flying saucery kind of a thing. The March yeah, kind of. Kind of. Could be. Sorta. Could be. Kinda. You never know. Sorta. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> Dick, thank you uh, for uh, the gadget. I will see you tomorrow on the Daily Gizwiz. I'll be here. D A I L Y. It's the Daily Gizwiz. It's own gravy. Yeah.